Hi everybody, it's Mark Mazatenta. I'm here to help strengthen your guitar skills. And today's topic is about the capo. And here is one type of capo. Maybe you've seen it on somebody's guitar on the headstock like that, or maybe you've seen it on the fretboard like that at some point, and you wondered, why are they using that? And what is it for? Well, I'm here to answer that. It's easy to answer. There's two reasons. It's used to change the key or to change the tone. There you go. Have a nice day. No, I'll expand on that a little bit. So let me demonstrate. Let's say you're gonna sing Amazing Grace, and it's in the key of G here. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. All right, but maybe that doesn't fit your vocal range. Maybe you need to bump it up a half step. Okay, fine, that would be the key of A flat. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound And saved a wretch like me And the problem is, in the key of A flat, the A flat major chord, the B flat major chord, and the E flat seven chord are all bar chords. So that's pretty labor intensive. Let's say you have three, four, five verses. Ugh, ugh. You don't want to play bar chords. So thank you, capo, because if you need to be in A flat, just put the capo on the first fret. Use the same easy chord shapes you did in the key of G, and you're in A flat. Amazing grace, how sweet the there you go. Super easy. So singers, you'll want a capo. Guitar players, if you're accompanying somebody, it might be easier to do that. Or if you're a singer yourself, one of the tools of the trade. You gotta have it. Answer number two was, it changes the tone somehow. And I hear this especially with my nylon string guitar and let's say I'm playing a song or I'm working on an arrangement or something and I want to play over the rainbow and it's written in the key of G it sounds a little low to me and so I might want to raise the pitch up and by using a capo I can play it the same way I just did in the left hand but it'll be at a higher pitch level and the bonus is that it actually changes the tone listen for a minute so compare what I just played I'll put this type of capo which is made for wider necks at the fourth fret and we'll see what a difference it makes. Okay, I'll do exactly what I did, or close to it, in the left hand. delicate, kind of more hollow, like a harp. And that's so that's what I mean by it can just immediately change the tone of something that you're playing, uh, just for special effect or contrast. So there you go, everybody. 
That's the reason that you use a capo, either change the key or change the tone. So get one and try it out. And I'll see you at the next video.